we've got a company called Executive Air and we've been invited by Swaka to come and do some flights for children just to introduce the children of Swaziland to flight and what happens around the airfield. I'm a student from Anadol Primary School currently doing 6th grade. I'm here because I love planes and it's my dream to fly. This experience is so good because I have the chance to be above the clouds and see the country I live in, that I love and adore. I've got Caroline is flying the aeroplane now. We're doing half hour flights over the city and showing them points of interest before returning them to the airfield. Hopefully today we'll fly uh, 150 children and hopefully that puts the seed in, of aviation in these children for the future. Onto a dolly which is there outside and when it gets to the aircraft, this is what we call a cargomatic. So what happens? These rollers roll, the container comes onto the cargomatic. From the cargomatic it goes onto another machine which is called a high loader, then the high loader picks up the container, then the container goes into the aircraft. And this is our fire service. I work for the fire service. These are our equipment and we are almost at the center of the runway. They do it like this and they press here when they talk and so they are able to throw this one it talks, it listens, it presses here this area and up to 4,000 feet he only controls a craft that he can see maybe let's start outside over there we have the terminal building which I think you guys have already been to we have that square area is called the apron is where the aircraft parked and is used as the disembarkation and the embarkation area and those small roads there are called taxiways they lead into that bigger road which is then called the runway the runway is used for landing and takeoff of aircraft the taxiways are used for aircraft taxiing into the runway taxiing to either to or out of the runway used as smaller roads to taxi out of the runway once a child flies, any person, in fact, once you fly the first time, in many cases, that sows the seed of aviation and that will become what they will do eventually. They will go into aviation, hopefully, and that is what it is. It's developing it from grassroots and that is how the industry will hopefully mushroom from a small beginning to something that becomes a sustainable industry in the future. Yeah. Well, when I finish my varsity, I'm hoping to fly to America where then I could start my manufacturing business. So that's why we are here. 